Hey, yo guys, what's going on? The Gaming Rehab here, and in this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a bucket server. And this is going to be the quickest I can make it, and very simple. So, first of all, go click the link in the description that says craft bucket, bucket download, whatever, probably bucket download. And then, what you want to do is download any, the latest build that is for the Minecraft server that you want. Say you want 1.7.2, get it. And if I'm, because I'm doing this for 1.7.2, it doesn't mean that you can do it for 1.8, 1.9, anything. So don't be hating in the description of the video. Now, anyway, I uh, just click right there and under the green download on the one you want. Then, it'll, then that's pretty much all you need to do with that. Now, right click, open up, or sorry, uh, open up text edit. And what you want to do is copy the code in the description and paste it right into here. And make sure you don't change anything unless you know what you're doing. And like right here, say you want, say your Mac, your computer has six gigs of RAM. You want to put three gigs, but uh, put the three zero whatever it is in there. And if if you have four gigs, you want to put two gigs just to make RAM a bit better. Put two zero four eight. That's pretty much what you should do there. Now what you want to do is click save and and uh, put it under plain text, that's important, and press start dot command, and press save. And now, it'll be right there. Now what you want to do is make a new folder and call it bucket server, just like that. Drag that in there. Now drag the craft bucket that you downloaded one second ago in there. Sorry for all the messy, sorry for the extremely messy desktop, but that should be gone soon. Now what you want to do, is just double click on the start dot, start dot, or sorry, no, my bad. Right, uh, rename the craft bucket jar to craft bucket, just like that, just like that, with the capital and everything. And now, open there. I don't have privileges. One sec. In there, but if the same thing happens to you, search it online, something that's odd. Now, what you want to do is just open up. It'll open up uh, in the terminal. It shouldn't take too long to do it. Do, but it's just gonna generate all the new server info like you see it just did created three new worlds created all uh, Plugins folder for you to put all the information So you have to give minecraft one credit for doing all that so quickly and so easily Uh, 53% done now I'm gonna do is just uh, do slash they're not slash up just type stop and now the server stopped and it's, this is showing you how to this next part, you can either use Hamachi, which you can watch a different separate tutorial to do, or you can port forward, like me. And port forwarding is the way how you make public servers. So now, what you want to do is uh, make sure the port is set at 25565, which is the default, and keep the server IP, the server IP, uh, at at nothing. Just even if you know what it is. All the stuff in here is pretty simple server stuff like generator settings, op permissions level 4, I don't even know what that is actually, that's just a uh, message of the day. The gaming rehab is great. Great. View distance 10, that's just all the default stuff that uh, is pretty cool. Resource pack, you can get that. Online mode true, that's if you want to make it for uh, hack Minecraft, you do false or whatever. You know, but that stuff is important. Spawn it, spawn NPCs too. Now that you have that set there, you can. All this stuff is important, but you can do this on your own time. We don't need to do this right now. Now, what you want to do is open up there, and this is. We need to open up a new. Um, a new. You want to find your internet, your internet provider website. Not really website, but I think you can do it in open net network preferences. So on Mac, you do. You do that and you press advance and go to TC and then here, yeah, right here it says rotor 192.168.1.254 is mine. And there. And if you, if this isn't you, which it most likely won't be, what you want to do is just find out what rotor you on, you're on, find the password and log in. As you see with me, uh, I am on Telus Action Tech. You can watch a different tutorial if it's different. Or if you think you can find it, sometimes there's a port forwarding button right there. Sometimes it's in wireless setup, but for me, it's in firewall. Then I'm gonna go to port forwarding. Then I'm just gonna delete the 25565 so that won't work. Where is 25565, little bugger? Uh, 
There it is, right, there, right at the top. Now let's delete that. And now what you want to do is you want to go to firewall and set uh, this to NAT only, then press apply if you're on this, if just to make a server. And now you can either select your device in there or you can type or you can go back to to open net, open network net, network options options and get your computer's IP. And don't worry, you can't hack me because so many computers probably have the same IP. And also, you can laugh because it's 69. <laughs> and now, make sure to enter the port as 255565 and 255565 again. And one more time. There. And now, what you want to do is just press apply. Uh, 25 is new. Um, remove. Well, anyway. That is now removed. Now, this sorry for all this nonsense. 192.168. Uh, let's go there. And start port 255. 255. 255. Yeah. And this, sorry. Uh, uh, all this stuff is only if you have this router. But now, I'm going to get to the part where you don't need it. And, um,. Sorry about that. Okay, so now that you have that all set up, hopefully, hopefully, you won't need to do any of this. Uh, but now, what you want to go? Sorry, I'm just talking so badly right now. What you want to do? What you want to type? What is my IP dot com? And I'm not even going to go to the website. I'll just stop the video because I don't want to. I don't want to show you guys the IP. But in big letters, it will be, it'll show like IP 192207, whatever it will be. Then just copy that. And that, now this is the interesting part. You want to have no IP in your server IP thing. Just no IP at all. And you, the website on what is my IP, so you'll give that to your friends and they can join the, your server from there. And that is literally how easy it is. And there's one more thing that you can do. If you want, you can go to a uh, website which I have right here. It is called Free DNS, and this this will allow you to customize your domain. So you can have your server at uh, 207 at. You can make your server uh, cozycraft.us.to, which is actually my server, uh, which isn't very isn't very big luck or whatever because that's my server and if you want to join my server that's the IP cozycraft.us.to anyway guys I hope that I covered enough stuff in this tutorial and please please uh, drop a like if this helped for you and I'll see you next time on Hotspot Gaming 1 or the Gaming Rehab peace